Hey everybody, welcome to day 139 of Reseller Reflections, a day in the life of a full-time reseller supporting her family. It is Friday, October 25th, 2024. It's about 6 p.m. here on the East Coast. And yeah, it's a good day, good day. Met our sales goal. Uh, that's not why it was a good day. It was just a, a fairly relaxed day here. Uh, you know, there's nothing like a day where you don't have a jam-packed schedule to just, you know, make you uh, appreciate uh, appreciate things. You know, it was, I said to Molly earlier, it's very strange to have a day where you're just not, like, I'm just not running from thing to thing to thing to thing. And uh, I was able to kind of get everything done in my own time today and not be worried about meetings or anything like that. So it was, that was cool. I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah. And I am shipping is out. I have one thing, um, that just sold, but I'll ship that out in the morning. I'm traveling tomorrow, but I'll talk about that tomorrow night. And yeah, so I'll get up early and, uh, do, uh, whatever needs to be shipped out before, um, before I leave. So, all right. Um, and reset to zero. My workspace is clean, clear. I won't be working tomorrow, but, um, it'll be ready for me when I, when I do come back, which will be tomorrow night when I do my day 140. All right. So, um, I'm reset to zero. I know these guys will be too on their Friday nights. I know Jill does her, um, sip and list over on list perfectly's listing party on friday night so i'm sure she's not cleaned up yet but i know when she's done with her sip and list if you guys haven't checked that out uh the link for list perfectly and everything is always in the show notes here uh you can do they just get on they co-work she plays music it's really a great time and people really enjoy it all right so Joining me on the Reset to Zero Challenge are Jill of Rusted Truck Relics, Jason the Santi Swapper, Char Fabulous Flamingos, Kathy, Kathy Sings, Nick, Mr. C Chats, Vanessa, Brightest Holidays, the Diabetic Reseller, Judith R, and Pam of Whimsy and Such. Good job, guys. All right, I heard this thing today, and you guys have probably all heard this before, but I never had. Um, it was wherever you go, there you are. Uh, it is... Then it is the name of a very popular like mindfulness meditation book, but it's not attributed to the author. This saying is not attributed to the author. I have not read that book. Uh, it sounds interesting, but um, I don't know if I'm going to get to it this year. But anyway, I love the expression, wherever you go, there you are. It just really, it, it just, I it just really struck a chord with me. Um I've done a fair bit of traveling this year. I've done in the past couple of years, I've done a lot of moving around, a lot of, I don't want to say running from things. Sometimes um, that's my first instinct is to, you know, run from things uh, rather than address them head on. And yes, wherever you go, there you are. So there's the pattern, right? Continually moving, resituating, um, things like that, right? Still dealing with the same things. But on a lighter note, one of my favorite SNL skits with Adam Sandler, I'm going to link that up at the end of this video. I'm going to link it up in the show notes because I think it captures this like in, in, in just, it's hilarious. And it just captures this concept so wonderfully. Uh, it is, it is his, I don't know if you've seen it, but it's a skit he did on Romano tours. And it's, you know, when you travel, like if you're miserable here, you're going to be miserable in Italy, but you have to watch it. It's great if you've never seen it. If you've seen it, it might even be worth watching again, because I, I think it's absolutely hilarious. Hope you do too. But so it got me thinking, like, wherever you go, there you are. What are those things that, you know, we all do? Like we think, um, you know, that we carry with us, right? And we don't work on the, the root cause of the issue. Um, you know, why are we this way? Why are we doing these things? Like I'm the same person everywhere I everywhere I've been in the past, you know, couple of years. And, you know, I think a lot of times we you know, buy the latest gadget to fix a problem, you know, jump on the latest bandwagon to solve a problem, look for some kind of magical fix, um, you know, to our issues. 
whether that's like reselling, you know, whether it's the latest, greatest thing, whether it's, you know, oh, the magic number is listing 10 items a day or wh whatever you have in your head, um, you know, um, but so I think it all ties back into consistency and, you know, what are we consistently doing? I mean, one of the things I struggle with is consistency. I, my kids will tell you I'm the, they're, I'm the most consistent person you've ever met. But in my mind, I'm not a consistent person um, because I don't like habits and I really struggle against them. And, you know, it's something I've carried with me from place to place to place, right? I have this great new setup, this great new, like, efficient business, but guess what? I'm still carrying that struggle with me. There I am, right? Like I have the ability to, and everything set up to do so much better. I am doing a lot better, but I'm still struggling with the same things. And there's no magic fix for it. There's, there's not a magic fix. Like all of these things, I bet, you know, if you think for a second, like what is one thing that maybe you struggle with? Or one thing that, you know, if you're, you know, unhappy where you are now, you know, physically moving is probably not going to fix it. In my case, it fixed a lot of it, but that was for other reasons. Um, but it, like if you're generally an unhappy person or an inconsistent person, um, physically moving is not going to solve that. Um you know, being in a different environment is not necessarily going to solve that. We always like to return to our baseline. We still have those things wherever we go, there we are. So we live in this in this day and age where I just think I'm often so incredibly grateful that we can listen to a podcast and have access and watch YouTube and have access to all these great insights and uh, you know, motivational speakers and, you know, tips and tricks for creating a better life or in my case, for becoming more consistent. And all these things like are just at our fingertips. I mean, isn't that amazing? It's amazing. But we, you know, we have to take it in and we have to put it into action. So I've been listening to a lot of things and some of them I bring to you here. Um, and I like to link them up today. I'm linking up the funny video of, of Adam Sandler, but you know, just think about that for a second, like whatever problem you're having, somebody's probably out there talking about a solution, you know, vet who you're listening to, obviously, like we all know that, but, um, there's a lot of not so great advice out there too, but like at our fingertips are just all of these amazing things. And, you know, I've been lucky enough to, not lucky enough. That's not the, that's not the right word. I'm grateful enough to have, you know, the C chats book club is a resource for business building and doing the slight edge Jill drink, uh, because it has changed my, that has been the number one thing that is, has been helping me change my consistency and my mindset. And I can't even wait to read it again in the first quarter because already things have fallen off and I know I'm going to get something just totally new out of it this year because we do it the first, the slight edge by Jeff Olson first quarter of every year. And it's very action based when we do it. So, all right, we have all these, all of these things, maybe that, you know, if you find yourself you know, wherever you are in life, if you've been struggling with the same thing, you can't really escape it. You got to, you got to deal with it. I know, I know. But the upside is we have just these incredible resources at our fingertips, like right at our ear tips that we can listen to and get help with or, you know, join a mastermind or, you know, a group that is dealing with similar issues and, and find that support and find some solutions. So I just think that's amazing. So, you know, because wherever you go, there you are. That's the only thing you can change. You know, you can change yourself and, you know, whatever it is, because it doesn't matter how much you change your external circumstances, you're still going to be dealing with the same thing, whether it's something in your business, whether it's something personal, whether it's a combination of the two, like in my case, um, 
Yeah. All right. So those are the thoughts. Go watch that funny Adam Sandler video and uh, give yourself a laugh. Uh, hopefully you think it's as funny as I do. Let me know in the comments. All right, guys, have a great night. I will see you on day 140. Bye-bye.